Good morning, hello, and happy Sunday, you guys. My name is Tiffany Almeida, and I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts, and I go live every Sunday with three fabulous projects featuring a new stamp set from the catalog. I am so excited to share with you guys today the projects that we're gonna be doing. <laughs> I love cutesy. I'm all about cutesy. So this is right down my alley. I can't wait to show you guys what I've come up with. All right, let's do prizes now. Now that you guys are on, thank you so much again for watching. Um, last week, we played with the pigment sprinkles. Remember those? Those were fabulous. Thank you to everybody who shared my videos last week. Um, raffle copter, for those of you that went on and entered the raffle copter giveaway, I was giving away the Stampin' Spritzers two pack. You need those for this pigment sprinkles. And Rafflecopter picked Susan Tipton. So congratulations, Susan. You are the winner of these awesome spritzers. I'll put them in the mail to you today. Well, technically tomorrow. There's no mail today, but I will get those to you. Um, the second prize was this awesome, awesome pack of shimmery white cardstock. This is a must when you're using those pigment sprinkles. If you don't believe me, you're gonna try it and you're gonna know. Um, so I have everybody that hit the share button last week and they're in here and I will draw a winner. Do, 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 do. There we go. Thank you to everybody again for sharing. You guys are awesome. Kim Cook. Kim, congratulations. You win the shimmery white cardstock. Thank you so much for hitting that share button, everybody. And I can't wait to show you what I'm going to give away this week. Prizes for this week. If you hit the share button, I'm giving away a stamp set. And the stamp set I'm giving away is the beautiful All Wired Up. I thought it was chicken wire, but it's called All Wired Up. So this is one of those new um, background stamps. We're gonna be using it today. I can't wait to show you what I've come up with. Um, and it's really, really cool and a must for all those barn animals. So super, super cute. So please hit that share button. That would be fabulous. You guys are amazing as always. Um, and then if you go onto my raffle copter, I have a new drawing for this week. Uh, <laughs> Janie's me, 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 me. Um, and it is, I'm gonna be giving away the silver emboss powder. This is the Stampin' Up! Silver Emboss Powder, which I'm also using today with the chicken wire. So that's gonna be exciting. Can't wait to show you guys what I've come up with. Um, and those are the prizes, so please hit that share button. You guys are fabulous. Thank you, everybody. All right. Um, okay, so that's happening. And then the other thing I'm really excited about, and which is why I chose the cows, is I'm doing a bingo, you guys. I'm so excited, I love bingo. It's my favorite thing. Um, I'm gonna be doing a bingo in July. I will have a local version of bingo for only local people, and then I will have a Facebook Live version for those that maybe can't join me locally, but still wanna participate live. And it's going to be called the Barnyard Bingo because we're gonna play with the barnyard animals and make a super cute collection of projects. How Bingo works is you get a $20 goodie bag filled with product from Stampin' Up, plus you get six projects that we'll make together and we'll play six rounds of bingo for fabulous Stampin' Up! prizes. And for those of you who have ever played bingo with me, you guys know that those prizes rock, right? So I'm gonna be doing that again. Um, watch for the link, I'll be posting that today. But you guys wanna see the projects? <laughs> I just finished designing. Now, mind you, some of them were done at like 10 o'clock last night, so they need to be redone because there's some, some boo-boos on them, but have an open mind and just know that we have some really, really cute projects to um, show you guys. All right, so the first one is this little cutie. Look at him holding the little daisy. Isn't that cute? And inside um, are these little mini cow tails. Aren't those adorable? Super, super cute. All right, so that's project number one. Project number two is our little cow. He's dreaming in a little denim pocket. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's so adorable, I can't get enough. Uh, no moo moos. Oh, there's lots of moo moos, Janie. Trust me. All right, and so I didn't want to just leave it to cows. You know, there's lots of animals in the barn, right? So I have this little messy pig. He's rolling in the mud, and this is a fun fold card because it opens like a, I don't know what, it, like a trifold, I guess. Can you guys see? So it just folds up. Sorry, folds up like this. 
like this. <laughs> you guys get it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this is the one that has smudges, so don't look too closely. But here's our little guy with his little flower, and I love his little blue boots. So cute. And then we have our little piggies doing a little acrobatics. And you can see that chicken wire in the background. So super, super cute. Our little barnyard bingo projects is so, so fun. I know, Janie, you're so clever with your little words. So cute. Is the purple color available? Lisa, no, not yet, but it will be. Um, they promised us it will be. It probably won't be till October, but who knows. <laughs> Um, all right, so there's that, you guys. Hopefully, you guys love those, and you'll join me for a fun bingo. I can't wait. All right, guys, I'm going to turn you over. Oh, wait, I forgot one more. Here's one more bingo project. This one's carrying milk duds. See how I turned it in a little milk carton? And inside are milk duds. So that's the, that's the sixth project. <laughs> all right, I'm all over the place today. I need more coffee, I think. Thank you, look at the hearts, yay. Mm. The other thing I'm working on today, uh, but bear with me and we'll get this all straightened out. Okay, how's that for you guys? Well, today is the last day of June, as you guys know, and that means that we have a new code, a new rewards code, a new month, and I'm giving away a new prize. And this is just absolutely beautiful. This is the Noble Peacock Rhinestones. It comes in, I can't even guess the colors, but you can see green, yellow, pink, purple, and blue. Just absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be my free gift in July when you place a $50 order on my online store using my new reward code. That starts today. I know it's June 30th, but it starts today goes through the end of July, <clears throat> and then I'll get to ship you these fun goodies. So there's that. All right, so here's the stamp set we're using today. It's called Over the Moon. Love this cutie little set so much. These cows are so fun. And the projects that we're gonna be doing today. Well, you guys saw the little bottle, right? The milk bottle, which is super, super fun. You can put a little straw in there. Um, I love how it says got, got milk, <laughs> which do you got milk? You got the milk, you got the bottle and the chocolate. All you need is to add the milk, right? And then I saw these little moon ties and I knew I needed to make a little moon, um, little cow on the moon. So I have my little moon ties. Isn't he adorable? I just love him. <clears throat> okay. And then the last project, which you guys haven't got to see a sneak peek of, uh, is these this awesome little card. This is Party Till the Cows Come Home, and I'm hoping that you can see the shimmer and shine of the chicken wire. Uh, I embossed the chicken wire with the silver embossed powder, and so it looks like metal. So super, super fun, and I love these cute little cows just peeking through. Okay, so these are the projects for today. Um, Jenny, I have to leave in 45 minutes. Okay, yes, I will post the all the cards, I promise. Um, and as soon as I can, okay? Oh, thank you guys. Look at all those hearts. I'm glad you guys like it. Okay. Mm. Let's go ahead and do the cow card first. How about that? We'll do the cow card. And um, everything we need here is in this little container. And... Let's see. Okay. So here's our card base. This is Cherry Cobbler. Um, oh, sorry, Heather. We'll see you later. Thank you for watching. And I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that we're going to emboss with the silver emboss powder. Uh, so we're going to do that first. Now, um, I like to keep my paper bigger than it needs to be and actually cut it down because uh, I want the magnet to help hold things down in case I need to stamp again in the exact same spot. So you can see here, I've got this on my um, plate here. I have the magnet down far below so that I can uh, hold it in place if I need to. Um, and then I'm gonna slide this over so that maybe the whole thing can be seen. So here's the chicken wire stamp. I like to keep these big background stamps right on one of these Stampin' Up! or these Stamparatus plates just because they're easier to use with the Stamparatus and they can just be stored there all the time. <laughs> so 
Cindy says she does not like cute animals. <laughs> all right, so I'm taking my Versamark ink and I'm going to be inking up the stamp all the way around. And I guess actually before I should do that, let's go ahead and use our embossing buddy on here just so that nothing really sticks beyond what we want to stick. So just take our embossing buddy, rub it across the paper, just making sure that no oily fingers or anything are gonna make that embossing powder stick. Just the Versamark. All right, so we'll just ink this up. Patty, you're funny. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going to stamp this chicken wire here. Just push that down, give it nice good coverage. <laughs> you guys are too funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we've got the chicken wire stamped. It's really all nearly invisible for you guys. I can see it in a, a tiny bit of a reflection. I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper that I can just pour the silver embossing powder on. Now remember, if you go on and you, um, you do my raffle copter, um, what is that called? Raffle, raffle copter survey, you'll be entered to win some silver embossed powder. So you can do this yourself. So I'm just pouring that over everything. Okay. And then we'll just make sure that it's covered everything. All right, oh no, we have a little center. Did it not get inked? It didn't get inked up well there. I guess I'm gonna have to strategically place one of my little holes there. Okay, so then we'll just gather that and we'll put our little container inside our little holder here. And of course there's the dimensional backing that decided to join the ranks in my silver embossed powder. I'll get that out later. Okay. So then we'll just heat set this real quick with our heat tool. Okay, there, we're all done. Yes, Janie and I have similar tastes. We both like those cutesy sets. Okay. So let's go ahead and just trim this down. Remember I told you I, I do it uh, too big intentionally so I have room um, on the Stamparatus to put the magnet down. So I'm cutting this down to five and a quarter by four. As you can see, just cut off a little bit. Wouldn't this be cute for something else? I don't know. Okay, so then we have to cut out the circle. So we need our big shot and we need some framelits. So the framelits that we need. So for the circles, where the little cows are peeking through, I went ahead and took one of the layering circle frame or dies and I just cut out in three places the, um, sorry, someone came into my room and scared the crap out of me. It was my daughter. <laughs> lost my track of thought. Uh, so we'll cut out the circle in three spots. <laughs> she literally snuck up behind me. Okay, so we're gonna cut this out. We'll do three of them. All right, so we've got our three holes there. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out these little frames. And to do that, I actually used the same size circle that I just cut the holes with. And then I used a layering stitch circle that is just slightly big, bigger than the circle itself. So all we're gonna have is this kind of outside border and the little stitches inside, which I absolutely love, okay? So let's go ahead and I just have a piece of uh, cherry cobbler. What I'm gonna have to do first is cut out the inside circle. So we'll do three of those. And then we, what we gotta do is take our, cause we don't need the inside piece. We're gonna take that stitch circle and go around the outside of it. And what I did was I just made sure that it looked even around, like the, as far as what car stack I could see in the center was even. 
Oh, and then one more thing, I guess we'll go ahead and just do that right now, is I have the label here, this um, for the party till the cows come home. So I'll just cut out that nesting label. It's the larger, larger of the two nesting labels. We'll just cut that out now while we have it. And then we'll cut one more, the smaller nesting label out of Whisper White. Oh my gosh, seven cents for washi tape? That's perfect. Okay, so that's it for that. And let's see, what did I do with? Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and just glue these guys on to the centers before we put them on the card. That way we don't get glue everywhere. Now with this liquid glue, you just want to dab, dab, dab. Just small dabs. This glue is super strong, but it can be really messy. Okay, there's one. These cows are just so cute. Next, we're gonna stamp these cows and color. So hopefully you like to color. And the best thing about these cows is, yeah, you have to color them, but hardly anything on them, especially if you make them a black and white cow. They just have a few black spots and their little pink snouts, and that's it. So we're gonna use my favorite way to color, which is the Stampin' uh, Blends. Okay, so let's go ahead on just a scrap. We just need a few scrap pieces. I'm gonna take and cut down a scrap here. Okay, so we'll have three little scraps and let's stamp our cows. The Holstein cows, are the Holstein the brown ones? Frisian cows are black and white. I just call them milk cows, I don't know. I don't know all this fancy terminology. Okay, so we have all three of our cows here. Stamping them in memento black ink because we're going to color with the blends and that's the only uh, ink that we use with blends. So we have our little cows. They're all so cute in their own little ways. I just can't get enough. Okay, so there's our three cows. Let's put those up there and we'll clean them off later. All right, so for my coloring, I chose the light basic black and the light flirty flamingo for their little snouts. Um, and for the basic black, I just did their hair and their little spots. Not a lot of coloring at all. Cause I wanted them to be those little milk cows. Oh, and they did their hooves and their tails as well. So he has one big spot. So I'm using the fine tip just because it's a small stamp. Kind of hard to stay in the lines with these little stamps. And call it good. What do you think? Okay. So for these little sections here, we're just gonna have little pieces shining through. So um, you can, the way that, I, I'll just say the way that I did it is I took a larger circle framelit and I actually cut them out um, so that I knew that they would fit perfectly. So let me grab the larger circle framelit. I don't know where I threw it. Somewhere. There they are, layering circles, and just cut out a larger circle, like this one will do. So we'll just cut those out. That's just the easiest way than having to try and like fussy cut or do anything funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue them behind. 
Now you could put them on dimensionals, um, but I just went ahead and did straight liquid glue and glued them behind the circle. Like so. And like I said, I cut these circles bigger so we don't have to worry about, you know, them not being big enough or anything like that. This one though. This one I didn't cut out right. Did not plan that very good, did I? Stamped him close, too close to the ground, or too close to the edge. I didn't get myself a big enough circle, that was dumb. Oops. Oh well, we'll make it work. We'll just give it a little tiny edge. We won't even be able to tell. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna put him on with dimensionals. Good morning. Yes, happy last day of June. Perfect day to get married on, huh, Janie? <laughs> it's Janie's anniversary today. Hot and humid in Kansas, yuck. I will pass on the humidity, thank you very much. I am not a fan of humidity. All right, so there's our cute little cows. Look at that, they're ready to party. Okay, and then we gotta stamp our little sentiment here. Party till the cows come home. We'll put that on a block. We'll stamp it with memento ink because that's what we've been using. And we'll just put that right here. So cute. And we will glue that onto our other label. Janie's been married for 19 years. 19 going on 50. <laughs> They're very cute, thoughtful couple. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this onto the corner. I'm gonna put glue about halfway because I know the rest of the label I'm gonna cut off. I just want the enough for the words and not much more. Okay, so I'm gonna take my big scissors and I'm going to trim off the extra. Hopefully in a straight line if I can keep my hands steady. Yeah, that wasn't straight at all. <laughs> Whew, it's a day for me, you guys. Could have used the trimmer and it probably would have been a little bit better, but there you go. There's our little cows. They are so ready to party the night away. The only thing left to do is add myself a little bow tie. This man, he's looking for a girl cow. And so he is putting on his best, which is a little bow. He knows how to party and look good for the guys, or look good for the guys, look good for the ladies. Well, you know, hey, he might like the guys. I don't know. Who am I to judge? All right, enough being silly. Let's give him a little bow tie. And we'll put this on with a glue dot. Glue dots are the best way. People always ask me, what should I do to glue the ribbon down? Glue dots, the answer is always glue dots. They are the stickiest and they work best for bows. So there you go, guys. Now I just love that um, chicken wire. It's called All Wired Up, which is what I'm giving away. If you hit the share button, you'll be entered to win the, this chicken wire all, all wired up stamp set. But this is just super, super cute. I just love it. Such a fun little cow card. And they are partying, partying through the chicken wire. Okay, so that's project number one, you guys. I hope you like that project. Super fun, these cows are so cute. Second project we're gonna do is our little moon pie. I love this little moon. Originally, let me tell you, so it's kind of funny how things work out, but originally I wanted to do um, a pendulum card where it like rocked and it was just the moon like rocking. 
um, and I just couldn't get a circle big enough. And the other thing I have to give you, tell you guys is that this circle is actually a retired Stampin' Up! die. Um, it used to be their layering circles before and it had a larger circle. This was the largest circle that they had, so I used it. It's no longer available. You could definitely just trace one by hand and, and cut one out. Um, but this one measures, I was gonna measure it for you. This one is four inches wide, or four inches, yeah, so it'd be a four inch diameter um, circle, okay? So that kind of gives you guys a reference. Now these little moon pies, <clears throat> I found them at the Dollar Tree. These are mini moon pies. They're called mini moon pies. And of course I found them at the Dollar Tree, right? Because that's my store. <laughs> that's where I find all my stuff. And um, basically <clears throat> they just fit perfectly for a cute little treat. And the moon pies, how perfect is that for a cow and a moon, right? So here I have the circle already cut out and this is um, so saffron. And what I did was I just uh, embossed in the center and I just kind of eyeballed the center. So just about two inches, right? Cause we said it was a four inch wide diameter. So just score that in half and fold it in half. You can see it's not quite perfect, but no one will know. Okay, so just fold that in half. That's gonna be our little moon. And then I, I cut out from our layering circles a little stitched layering, not stitched, um, a scallop circle in whisper white. And that's what we're gonna stamp our little cow on. So we're gonna stamp him. And he gets the same coloring treatment that our other cow did. We're gonna do the black and white. So here's our little cow. And then the sentiment is I'm over the moon for you or over the moon for you. So we'll put that on there. You have to do the oon. You have to sound like a cow when you say it. <laughs> Jenny. So did the birthday girl want the stamp set? <laughs> Jenny got the, Jenny won the chamois for her birthday. Maybe Karen will win the chicken wire. Over the moon. There we go. Okay, so now we just gotta color him. And again, we're going to use that light basic black and just do his little spots. Those cute get well animals like the turtle and the giraffe. We have the rhinoceros and the, what is that other one? Um, kangaroo and all those, that cute set. So we have lots of cute animal sets. All right, so now we're just gonna glue, once we've colored our cow, we're just going to put some glue here and glue our little cow on. Something adorable. And then I used the Twinkle Builder Punch to get some stars, because I wanted some stars above his head. So just take a scrap of So Saffron and punch out some stars. Let's punch out a four star. So we have four stars that we'll glue on. And I have a little pair of tweezers. Thank you so much, Barb. What are we thinking, Barb? What happened, K Colleen? I missed it. What happened? What did I miss? Okay. Good morning, Danielle. Thank you for those that are just watching. We're just gluing stars on our little cow project here. He's a little, little moon pie treat holder. I guess he's a tag more than a treat holder, huh? Just a tag. All right, so we've got our moon, we've got our stars, we've got our cow. He's just dreaming, dreaming about those moon pies. This is called Over the Moon. I know, Terry, I am the same way, but these ones are actually pretty yummy. I don't really like marshmallow um, treats either, but this one was pretty good because it has the chocolate and the cookie as well. So, you know, me and chocolate. So I'm just doing a little double bow here 
And I'm gonna put that on the card. You can either, I'm gonna do it down here this time. I have a, a lot more room on the, down on the bottom. So we'll get another little glue dot. Cowtails too, yep, that's right. Cowtails, Milk Duds, Milky Ways. All kinds of fun things you can play with. The Milky Way would be cute because it's still kind of like galaxy stars type thing. Okay, so once we've done our little tag, the way that I connected it to the little moon pie was with Terran tape. And what I did was I just put Terran tape along the, um, top of the package on both sides. Hi, Cindy, good morning. Give me and Junior Mints, exactly. Oh, the tweezers I got from my grandma, yep, that's right. These were a birthday gift last year from my grandma, which are super, super helpful. She, I believe, got them at um, the craft store. Okay. So then we'll just put our little moon pie in here and I just sandwiched it like as far as I could get it up like that and then just closed it like so. Hey, look, I didn't glue it upside down or anything else. I didn't make any mistakes, yay. <laughs> so there's a cute little moon pie treat. How fun is that? I have other ideas. Um, this is a little goodie bag and there's a little cow here and inside are Milky Ways um, and I also have this little idea I did a little tag um, I was just playing a little tag with those milk magic straws a little chocolate cow so there's all kinds of fun things you could do all kinds of fun little treats um, but just so many fun things you can do okay so for our last project, we are going to be doing this little bottle. Now this is kind of a big bottle. This is a Starbucks drink. Um, and I chose a smaller Starbucks bottle, so it's going to be quite, quite different in size, but still really cute. Um, this is the smaller Starbucks version. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're going to take a piece of Whisper White and we're going to stamp the, um, check the buffalo check. So I have a piece of cardstock that I cut three inches by 11 inches and I have my um, buffalo check stamp. I'm just gonna get my magnet off the back and just hold this down. And so we're actually gonna have to stamp this piece of paper twice because we have to go all the way to the end. Um, so just know that in advance that we're gonna have to move that up and we're gonna use the real red ink. This is the real red ink and we're just gonna ink up that buffalo check. This is another one that the buffalo check just stays on my Stamparatus plate all the time. <laughs> I use it all the time. And the nice thing is, is that if I stamp and I don't like the image, if it's, um, if it's too, uh, too many imperfections, I can stamp it again, and I know that it'll be in the exact same spot. So, the straws do need the got milk, don't they? So cute. Okay, so just going to stamp that buffalo check, and then we need to rotate and stamp this end. So you will have a bit of a what appears to be a seam, but we will strategically place it so that um, it will be hidden. Debbie, I found the straws at Walmart. They had them at Walmart. I'm gonna move this magnet, there we go. Okay, so here we go, one more time. So many fun ideas, Beth, and so many different little candies and treats that you can do um, to make, to go along with these cows. All right, so you can see there's a bit of a seam here, but we're gonna strategically cover that when we wrap it around the bottle. So I'm just going to put my magnet back. 
and take our bottle and I just used two strips of tear and tape on the back side to glue my wrap around the bottle. Okay, and just peel off the backing. Good morning, Kathy. Thank you so much for sharing. Hi, Deborah. Thank you for watching. All right, so here's our bottle. And we're gonna just put this in the center so we know that it's going to be the side where we're going to put our label. And we're going to wrap this around and glue it down. And then we're gonna wrap this one around and just try to get them so that they line up. And there we go. Let's glue that down, okay? So it will look like you have two seams, but this one's gonna be covered up so you won't see it at all. Okay, so the next thing we need is to do our little label. This little Hershey Kiss does not wanna stay in there, so I guess I get to eat it. All right, so, oh, that's the other thing is I put a little wrap of burlap on it. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Just make sure I have a long enough length here. And then this is the burlap ribbon. And I am just going to put a piece of tear and tape. Tear and tape, no! Oh, tear and tape getting into all kinds of trouble. Okay, so just putting a line of tear and tape along that, along that ribbon on the back. This is the seam that we need to cover up. And then we're just going to wrap about the center. We're just gonna eyeball the center and wrap it around. And the seam is gonna also be hidden behind the label, so we won't even be able to see the end of that ribbon. Okay, so then we're gonna need, I used the layering ovals and I got a scallop oval, and I used the largest stitched oval for our cow. And so we're just going to stamp our little cow here in memento black ink. I know, I'm gonna eat all these kisses. They came out of the bottle, so they, they're they free game and I get to eat them. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna stamp our cow in the center, like so, okay? And then we have some cute little words to stamp that say got milk, just like our little bottle here, got milk. And I used the Make a Difference stamp set. It has the whole alphabet, it has numbers, and it has some even, cute little things like created by, hashtag send a card, handcrafted just for you, hand stamped by, all kinds of fun things. It also has a copyright stampin' up, so it um, has the angel policy. But yeah, so this is a really, really great stamp set. And I have all the letters that I'm gonna be stamping in Night of Navy um, to spell our got milk. So I did a capital G for the got milk part. So G. Try not to stamp his little ear. And then I have O on the other side. So G, O, and then there's a T. G, O, T. Got, and then we got milk. I did a capital M, the bigger M. And then I which fell off of the block, let's see. Tiny, tiny little cursive letters. M, I, let's see, where's L? There's L. M, I, L, K, and then a question mark, because it is a question, right? Your L is a B in cursive. Beth, I think I, you're right. I think I grabbed the wrong one. So we're, milk, 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 got bin, milk, book. Can't even spell right. Okay, so there's our got milk. We're gonna pretend the B is an L. Obviously I can't read cursive. 
and um, we're gonna color our little cow. So I chose crumb cake for this cow. I thought he would look really cute as a little brown cow with white spots. So what I did was I colored him um, in light crumb cake, just kind of the base of him in light crumb cake. And I'm coloring really fast, so please ignore the bad coloring. And I'm gonna, I always do the outline with the fine tip and then I can fill in the centers with the brush tip. Just faster that way. And then I took my dark crumb cake and that's what I did his little tuft of hair here and his tail and his hooves. And then I also did some shading, so a shade around his neck and under his chin and his belly and some of his rump and under his ear, okay? And then we'll just blend that with uh, the light crumb cake just to kind of soften the edges. Just soften those edges. Just want it to kind of look like some shading. <clears throat> and then we'll use um, Flirty Flamingo to do his little nose. Well, actually, it's a big nose big nose and his or her little udders. Okay, so got milk. Then we'll glue that onto our label here. Right, Debbie's so perfect. Love these little cursive, little cursive font. All right. And then we are going to put dimensionals on the back. Yeah, I haven't quite gotten the knack for that yet either, Debbie. I am struggling as well. Um, they're definitely really snug. I'm really afraid I'm gonna rip the case. Anyone else have any suggestions on closing those plastic dice cases, the new ones? I, I am also having that same struggle. I think I'll get used to it after a while, but right now it's, a, it's definitely a struggle. Okay, so then I have this new awesome denim ribbon, which is going to be part of your bingo. So if you do bingo, this will be one of the things in your goodie bag is this denim ribbon because it goes perfectly with farm and cows and uh, just very kind of farmhouse rustic. Now you can see I'm tying my bow upside down. I know I'm weird, but that is how I do my best bows. And then we have our little bow. And then we're just gonna trim the edge off and voila, we have an adorable little cow milk. And then what it needs is one of those cute decorative little striped straws, which will be so cute. And these Hershey kisses to stay in the bottle. But so yeah, so you guys, there's our three projects for today. Do you guys love them? They're so fun. I love this new set. Over the moon. I am definitely over the moon for these cows. They are so adorable. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's projects. I hope that you will place an order with me this week um, and get the make and takes, these make and takes for free from me. Um, and if you place a $50 order, you'll get my make and takes, plus you'll get the new Noble Peacock Rhinestones, which are just absolutely beautiful. So thank you again, you guys. You guys are so wonderful and I hope you have a fabulous week. Oh, d now just to let you know, important. I will not be live next Sunday. I will be at the beach enjoying some much needed R&R. &R. So just know I won't be live next week, but I'll have something fun for you guys while I'm gone. Okay. Not sure what yet, but we'll come up with something. So, um, I will be back on July, uh, July 14th, I believe, which is the next Sunday. So 
Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful week and we will see you next time. Bye.